Welcome to Brother Frank TV, beautiful people. Today, we are at the old jail in Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It's got jail cells, it's got a dungeon, and we're going in. Cue the intro, please. Oh, all right, we are now walking in the old jail. And here we go. And here we are inside. And as you can see, old jail. And we'll start out with the kitchen. And was this the kitchen from back then? Okay. Super lucky to have uh, Peggy, um, whose family owns the place, and we have a tour guide. And this is where the food would pass through to the inmates. Okay, and there you can see a tray, and that's where they would pass the food on to the inmates. And we will now make our way. into this is the okay dining room then but it is a gift shop now okay and we'll mosey along This is the entranceway. This is just the entranceway. Oh, to the to going into the jail cells. Okay, so we'll go in here first. And this is the this is the living room. Okay, so here we go, the living room, and already we're starting to get a little bit of a blur going, which I don't know. I've been told that when you see blur come to your camera or your batteries die out they say that that's a spirit mm -hmm. but I don't know anyways here's a look at the restoration right here this jail was officially closed in 1995 1995 and we'll get into a little bit more of it look at that you see that it's almost like a little get yeah, a reflection that's got to be coming in from the outside so anyways this is the mall mcguire's a fight for the rights and we'll get into that a little bit later and uh, try to explain some of that this is we're now going oh it's like i already seem to have forgot where i'm going uh, up these good stairs And this would be the warden's originally the master bedroom. Then it was used by work release for the inmates. This is where they were housed. Probably went out to work for the day and then came back here to sleep. Correct. This is like a common room. And then we will go into the children room children's bedroom is this for the children of the women the warden's family, the warden's family lived here okay that's cute little chair that's what it is okay yeah. little girls thought that they were like cinderella because their house was a big house like a castle <laughs> and they had a guard that would open the door oh my god that must have been is this just a store? Oh, my gosh. What is that right there? Hello? Watch out, I don't know how good that floor is. Oh. It's just a... What is, is that like a mannequin? Just a mannequin. Oh, my goodness. Wow. 
check that out. That mannequin like freaked me out. And let me tell you something. There's going to be some spots that are going to freak me out again here. Jeez. Alrighty. And now this is? This is back to the common area. Back to the common area. Oh yeah, and this is the one-way window where you can actually look in to the uh, jail cells, correct? correct. And they could not see, see you watching them. See if we can get a look there, in there, and we'll actually be heading in there very soon. This, this was the family's bathroom, and then it was used for the women. Family bathroom, used for the women. They didn't use this, they used Oh, and then this is the women's cell? Okay, so let's go ahead in here and get a look at the women's cell. Oh, right away. <laughs> there you go. You got yourself a mannequin right there, and they always get me. Jeez. Oh, another one right here. Well, oh, here we go. Another inmate. I'm wearing a real uniform from the new jail. Wow. Check that out. How cool is that? And we're okay here. No mannequins to report. And is this like a shower back here? That was the one that the prisoners would use. This is the one the prisoners would have used. Oh, and then here would be the television. And is this it for the women? Just these cells? Okay. Have a nice day there. Wow. Wow. Now we're heading downstairs. What's in here? That was my dad's office. Oh, okay. Let me. You got a light, or should I put mine on? Okay. And this is her dad's office, actually. Take a look at some of the original ceiling there. Okay. Down here. All right, now we head back down. Oh yeah, check this out. Staircase. That goes upstairs. That's the attic, but that's off limits. Right in here? Yep. Here's the oh visitor room. Oh. And here we go. Got another figure there. And here we are. This is where the inmates would be behind the glass and their families would be out here talking to them right through this void little area right there. And here we got some kind of boon squad helmets of sorts. And here are things that were made from the inmates out of soap, correct? Or believed to be out of soap. And got their shoes maybe? They were found that they didn't have heating ducts. And this is the weapons that were made and that were found when they took over the prison. So. You never know what would have been waiting for you. Who knows? And just a typical bathroom. Alrighty. And now we'll make our way. Okay, now we're going into the jail cells. This is pretty cool. Are these like all the patches? All the, the patches that people have donated over the years. They're all the yeah. different places, law enforcement that uh, donated patches. Makes for a very cool look now. It's the kitchen window. Here goes the kitchen window that 
we showed you before and there goes the tray and now we're, we're coming into where they would have ate their food right correct out here this is where they would eat their uh, their chow maybe they call it the chow hall and and here are some of the rooms there you go try to get more light in there there we go and is this the one with the beds in it okay now here's a plaque that tells you about it this is what the typical room is okay to go in and here goes the uh, typical what the cell would have looked like right here um, they're showing two but as you can see um, right here they would have been able to weld and double stack and make it a four person room which must have been extremely tight toilet sink and they no privacy that's the bottom line so you paid a price back then Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see how the doors work, how they shut down. So this would go into here. So that would go there. This would go into here. This one might not work. You get the idea. That goes into there. And then this one gets shoved into here. And it would push it back. So it would pop back in here. Wonderful. And then there was doors on the outside, too. And we are so lucky to have Peggy helping us out today. Um, and ironically, now this place was actually used and they they filmed and parts in here of a movie was called Molly the Molly Maguires which starred Sean Connery who was actually in this building and this is the famous room 17 right here just take a look in here that's all I'm gonna say about this room And that's it. Is that good, boy? That was good. Okay. And then right over here is what was the where they did the hangings, correct? Uh, the reproduction. The reproduction. As you can see, the ropes. They did a fantastic job. There go the ropes right there, and we'll get a view from up top when we um, come back and check that out. Four yeah. men were hung here at one time. Four men were hung here at one time. Now this scene of the hanging they did with. Sean Connery in the movie was done out back. Out back, but it was actually done in here. The but, facts of the movie were incorrect. So it was actually done in here. So and then it was packed in here with visitors watching. It was packed in here with visitors watching. And as you could see, they have it set up because they have a speaker that comes in from time to time to talk about that. The Molly, what is it? Molly? Hangings. Molly hangings. And, uh, so it's fascinating and you can actually watch the movie. I think you can, I don't know if you can get it on Amazon. Or, but you can definitely get that movie. Here goes another cell right here. And really awesome. Is that another room there or? They're all the same. All the same. All right, now, whoa. Check this dude out. He is watching the dungeon. And here we go. Into the dungeon, of which it's been told to me by someone I now trust. This is the dungeon. But supposedly there is a ghost. That, occu Whoa. that occupies this hall. And that is not the ghost, that is her dad. So here are... Wow, it gets like blurry when you come into some of these rooms. And they're basically, wow, is it okay to go inside? And here's inside look.
And one of these rooms is the room where they don't open the door because the ghost right here, right? Mm -hmm. This is the room where if they have opened it and ghost closes it. Is it, uh, do you guys, so it's not even good to go in there. Okay, <laughs> that room there you guys stay away from, huh? All right, and oh, here's one that's set up. Now, these bar, what is this on the wall? You had mentioned this, this is where they would shackle them to the wall. Oh, wow, so this is a interesting room. Here may be their only source of light. Wow, and then the toilet, of course. Wow, wouldn't want to be shackled down here. It's cold, it's certainly, uh, uh, certainly a little creepy and spooky down here if you're down here by yourself. A little bit. A little bit, right? <laughs> and uh, down there, there's, uh, that's as far as uh, we go down here. So we were just blessed enough to be able to come see this dungeon. And I'll just give you one more peek down here. Here we go. Give you a little more lighting. And this is the dungeon. All right. And now we're heading back up. And we'll go. Oops, sorry, that was my strobe light. back into where the ropes are. And we'll head upstairs and get a peek down. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask you. So this is, in here is the laundry room. That's your laundry room. And this is the shower room. Oh, wow. And this is where the shower would have been. Okay, that's a interesting place. And this door right here would take you to the visiting room. It's closed, all right? Okay, so now, oh, and here goes the window that we saw in the very beginning. And now we'll head upstairs? Okay, and are these called anything? Are these the gallows or? Oh, okay. Are there cells up here too? Oh, wow. Okay. That's the viewing window again. And this is like storage from when they do. This? Oh, there's actually a library here. And here we go. Here goes the library. And here goes the cell. They pretty much look the same once you once you start to see them. So I'm not going to go. Is there any in particular up here that are of noteworthy, or they're basically all the same at this point? Take a look down here. We're going to check out the ropes now. But there's plastic on all the doors. You can't even look in. Here's one more that you can look in. And here go all the ropes, right here. And that's gonna pretty much sum up the tour. Here go the ropes. As always, see, here goes the plastic that I'm, that's why I'm telling you a lot of the doors 
Hancock plastic and here we go where we can see the recreation of the hanging. Now as always, please like, please comment, please subscribe. And here goes a full view all the way that you can see really up close here. Don't forget to smash that like button. And there goes some more plastic on the door, but don't forget, people hit that bell. We got so many more upcoming videos that you do not want to miss. Do not touch the nooses. We're just happy that we can get such a close-up look. How about that? Pretty amazing. And get one more look here. There we go getting blurry again. And we'll look back to see how it looks from here. Wow. This is all the original? Wow, so fantastic. Sturdy. And then let's go take a look over here real quick. You can see plastic. And uh, let's take a look here. Is this where the guards would kind of do their touring up here? Walking around when the inmates are... Just down there. Oh, just down there. And there goes that window again. And let's make our way downstairs. And this lets us right back out. This would know where they would get their arms cuffed or... Oh, this is where they would do the cuffing. Before they would be let out here. Before they would be even let out here. And I didn't even realize, but that's actually the whole... There's the cell that would close. It's got the pitcher in the way. This would have a guard in it. This would actually have a guard in it, this area. The guard in this room would not have a key to that door. And he would not have a key to the door behind us which is very smart in a way. In another way, that guard is in trouble. And uh, I'll let you want to pass and I'll just get hand. Here goes a real monstrous door. To, oh, that would be great. And we are now closing the door on this video. Bonus footage, beautiful people. Now we're going to go check out. There's the Molly Maguire execution. As we were talking about inside the jail where Sean Connery was actually here. Now we're going to get some great bonus footage of where they filmed some of their scenes. And that was taking place in the back of the prison. So... Let's go right ahead and take a look. We're so blessed to come here and check this out. This entire prison is just a, a gem and the people that own it are just so nice. Here's the back side of the prison and you can actually see some of the bob wire back here. Yep, here we go. And here goes, maybe they had some wreck time back here. I'm not sure, but and here goes some another view and here go maybe some of parts of the cells and anyways we definitely have permission from the owner himself to be back here vlog over